his holy mass. To the glory of God, and we offer it in thanksgiving for the immaculate heart of the Virgin Mary. Hail, Holy Mary, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in the unfailing health of mind and body, and through the, glor <coughs> and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow, and come to enjoy eternal happiness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading for the prophet Isaiah. My people will be famous throughout the nations, their descendants throughout the peoples. All who see them will admit that they are a race whom the Lord has blessed. I exult for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. He has clothed me in the garments of salvation. He has wrapped me in the cloak of integrity, like a bridegroom wearing his grief, like a bride adorned in her jewels. For as the earth makes fresh things grow, as a garden makes seeds spring up, so will the Lord make both integrity and praise spring up in the sight of the nations. The word of the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord my Saviour. My heart exalts in the Lord, I find strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. The bows of the mighty are broken, the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labour for bread, for the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children there, for the fruitful wife bears no more. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. He lifts up the lowly from the dust. From the dung he raises the poor, to set them in the company of princes, to give them a glorious throne. My heart exalts in the Lord my Saviour. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who treasured the word of God and plotted it in her heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Every year the parents of Jesus used to go to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was twelve years old, they went up for the feast as usual. When they were on their way home after the feast, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem without his parents knowing it. They assumed he was with the caravan, and it was only after a day's journey that they went back to look for him among their relations and acquaintances. When they failed to find him, they went back to Jerusalem looking for him everywhere. Three days later, they found him in the temple, sitting among the doctors, listening to them and asking them questions. And all those who heard him were astounded at his intelligence and his replies. They were overcome when they saw him, and his mother said to him, My child, why have you done this to us? See how worried your father and I have been looking for you. Why were you looking for me, he replied. Did you not know that I must be busy with my father's affairs? But they did not understand what he meant. He then went down with them and came to Nazareth and lived under their authority. His mother saw of all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and men. The Gospel of the Lord. We bring to our loving Father the needs of the Church and the world. We will our various intercessions to support these our prayers. May we welcome God's Word. We pray that it may take deeper root in the heart of Christians. Lord, in your mercy, 
May we hear the word of God. We pray that civil authorities and those at court may hear God's word for peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy. May we ponder the word of God in our heart. We pray for theologians and preachers that they may bring the message of God alive today. Lord, in your mercy. May we did the word of God and was happy to be his slave. We pray that we may put into practice the saving word that we hear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the sick, for those in hospital and hospices, nursing and care homes. We pray for those affected by the coronavirus, from those suffering from COVID-19. And we give thanks and pray for those who care for the sick and the dying. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for the recently departed, for those who will die this day, alone and afraid to meet their God. And we give thanks for those who see his minds at this time. Lord, in your mercy, we commend ourselves and all God's faithful to the intercession of the, of the saints in heaven, but especially we ask for the prayers of Mary, ever-Virgin Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Father in heaven, we thank you for your plan of love for us. May the Mother of Jesus and the Holy Spirit reveal her Son to us. May Jesus lead us to know Mary's motherly care for us all. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours make acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my heart for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O oh Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings and through the intercession of blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered and no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of the Blessed of Blessed Mary ever virgin. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominion, dawn, past, tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the seraph, blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices be prayed, join with theirs in humble prayers, as we acclaim. 
holy, holy, holy Lord. God, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. I send down your spirit upon them like the youth that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks if you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Jonathan, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. At the same as command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Thanks, Elizabeth. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech your Lord your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The angel of the Lord announced unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We beseech thee, O Lord, for thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, may by his cross and passion be brought into the glory of his resurrection, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, now and forever. 